For the ferrocyanide test, what we would do is we would pick out any ferrocyanide, and there's only one, that same ferrocyanide, and we would put a drop into a well plate, and I'm actually going to show you all three at once, and then we would compare that with our unknown. So we're going to put our unknown into three different well plates. And you can pick whichever one you want, I'm going to show all three, but what we're looking for is we're looking for the reaction with cobalt. So you choose any cobalt particular thing, cobalt nitrate, cobalt sulfate, any copper, here I've got copper nitrate, and any iron, here I've got iron nitrate. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a comparison of the standard with our unknown. So here's what ferrocyanide does when mixed with cobalt, and here's what our unknown did. And we're looking to see, are they the same or are they different? And then here we're looking at what the standard ferrocyanide did with copper, and here we're looking at what our unknown did. And are they the same or are they different? And then here we're looking at the iron 3 plus plus ferrocyanide, and here we're looking at our unknown. And in each case, we're seeing something happen for both, but they're clearly different between each one. This one is just kind of staying the pink color, and this one's formed some kind of precipitate that's removed the color. This one has kind of a brownish color to it, and this one we've got some kind of fibrous red stuff, and then it's kind of like a pale cream colored drop. And then this one, we're actually seeing Prussian blue form, so we're seeing this blue with a hint of the remaining yellow that kind of forms a green color. And then over here, we're seeing a completely different orangish kind of mix. And so that would mean that our unknown is not a ferrocyanide, and we would go on to do the next test.